Today's project is a little crazy, and if you're anything like me, you have somebody in your life that is cat crazy, right? <laughs> so if you want to know how to throw the ultimate cat party, here you go. My daughter wanted to throw a cat party, and of course I asked her what she meant by that. You'll be surprised at the few things that she had to have. Well, this mom is a little busy, so I went on to Amazon and I was able to find a package of kitty decor. We're talking a banner, these stringy things with cats on the bottom, balloons, plates, cups, straws, and even plastic wear, all for $25. I highly recommend this pack, and that will be listed in the description. Now that we had the decorations out of the way, I said, what does a cat do? So she said, we have to get boxes. So we went to our local U-Haul store, which by the way, the ladies there were dying and I owe them a picture of what I was going to do with these boxes because they were absolutely delighted that I would even come up with this idea. But I gave credit where credit was due and that was to Lola. I took two of the wardrobe boxes, I broke them down and made them a sizable kitty litter box. Next up for the litter box, you have to make poop. Yes, cat poop. <laughs> this was all Lola's idea and I said I can figure out how to make poop. So I thought what could have the substance of poop but be kid friendly so they can play with it. I know, these words coming out of my mouth, it's just crazy. But I was able to get this kind of idea using Loctite tight foam and it worked perfectly, at least I think so. The foam that comes out is squishy and malleable until it hardens, but it's still a little squishy. And then what I did to like have it go around something, cause of course it can't just be normal cat poop. It has to have a cylinder of some sort. I had these left over from, from a Xyron project, but if you could use toilet paper holders or even uh, paper towel holders. What I did was I put that in the middle and then I sprayed around it. And once all that was dry and set in place, I just lightly hit it with some spray paint to make it more realistic. The best part about it and why there's a tube is, of course, because we have to have candy in it. It's a favor. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Oh, man. Dad. Candy. <laughs> Another thing that cats like to play with, according to Lola, is a big ball of yarn. So I ran to Michael's and I was able to find this beautiful yarn and I already had a dome shape in the way of some Christmas decor that I actually had out. So we wrapped the giant bells that I have from Hobby Lobby with this stuffy, yummy yarn and it made giant yarn balls. They were absolutely perfect. Lastly, what does a cat need for their birthday, their ultimate birthday party? They need to eat, right? And what do cats eat? They eat mice. <laughs> Using chocolate cake as requested by the birthday girl, I was able to use an egg cookie cutter and cut this kind of shape out. Then I rolled out some fondant and put some buttercream on the cake and then put the fondant on. And the girls and I made these adorable mice for us to eat. It was an absolute great time by everyone, especially these girls, my Lola and her best friend Josie, they had a great time. So if you are looking to throw the ultimate cat party, look no further. 